I would like to ask now um, Deacon Douglas L. Vilcek if he would share a bit about his work. Um, Deacon Vilcek um, is the recipient of the Canon John Macquarie Fellowship in Philosophical Theology for 2016. Thank you. Deacon Vilcek. Thank you, Dr. Clayton. I also want to make sure that I thank Father John Mulvihill, who was my dissertation supervisor. I couldn't have done it without him and your brother as well. Um, and I, I should mention uh, Canon Father Dr. Uh, Robin Gibbons, who was a great support as well. You know, um, Dr. Morgan this morning in our small group was mentioning that uh, uh, most of the people that, that uh, get advanced degrees at Graduate the Theological Foundation are in the range of 45 to 55 years old. And when you said that, I went, my goodness, I'm going to be 67 next month. I must be one of the old guys. And, and I thought about when, um, when I successfully, successfully defended my dissertation at Christ Church College in Oxford last August, my wife, Pat, who's sitting right here, sent out emails to all of our family, and my 15-year-old um, grandson sent a message back and said, Dear Grandpa, thank you so much for being an example to all of us that no matter how old you are, <laughs> you could still learn something. So um, I, I am a permanent deacon in the Roman Catholic Church. I'm currently assigned to a, a parish in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, about 1,200 families there. Uh, I'm also a senior vice president of a large international healthcare company. We, uh, we treat about two and a half um, million people in 12 different countries. We've got 65,000 employees with our company, and I'm the person that's in charge of personal and professional development for our company. Uh, over the past 50 years I've been in, in healthcare, um, I've written seven books, several hundred articles, on um, clinical areas, management areas, and leadership areas. But my primary interest over the last uh, 10 years has been on the topic of stewardship, both from a secular and a religious uh, perspective. And when I talk about stewardship, I use the Oxford Dictionary definition that's something like taking care of something of value that actually belongs to somebody else. So um, the title of my dissertation was A Theology for Stewardship for the Roman Catholic Church in the United States. And, and allow me to summarize that work briefly. Despite the um, uh, significant efforts by the United States Catholic Church over the years, the current level of both participation of ministries, in ministries, as well as financial support for the Catholic Church lags significantly behind most other mainstream religions and other Christian denominations. Um, research, and, and it's steadily declining. Uh, researchers indicate that, that a primary reason for that is um, that the Catholic clergy, many of the Catholic clergy, have difficulty speaking about stewardship, and many of them also incorrectly see stewardship as simply a fundraising tactic. Um, my work asserts that stewardship is rather a fundamental component, component of Christian discipleship. However, if you would ask every Catholic in the United States, a very small percentage of them would say that, that stewardship has anything to do with how they live out their Catholic faith. Um, so the, the effects of that uh, disconnect, I think, are threefold. Number one, the very ability of the Catholic Church to its, achieve its mission is jeopardized by that because not enough people participate in ministry and there are not enough resources for it to achieve its ministry. And then the, the alluring and compelling and competing influences of secular society become more important than their faith. Um, secondly, the clergy's opinion that stewardship is, is simply a fundraising tactic um, uh, will, will continue to subsist and probably increase and will get in the way of a very important aspect of our theology, which is related to stewardship as a way you live out your discipleship. 
And finally, if stewardship is not fully understood by the laity as well as their, uh, as by the clergy, the people of God will not fully be engaged in, in the, the life of the church. Um, since no comprehensive theology for stewardship in the Catholic Church has been put together uh, heretofore um, and articulated and disseminated within the church, I believe that doing so can fix these situations or at least move towards fixing these situations. So I've proposed a stewardship, um, uh, a, a theology for stewardship for the Catholic Church in the United States, which is rooted in teachings from the Second Vatican Council, uh, writing of recent popes, sacred scripture, sacred tradition, uh, writings of the fathers and mothers uh, of the church, uh, input from other religious traditions and secular experiences. So my, um, my theology is uh, structured into what I call four basic truths. Truth number one is that God is the creator of all things. This is a core belief of all three of the major monotheistic uh, religions of the world. Christianity, Islam, Judaism all believe the same thing. And it's stated in the creeds, and it's confirmed by scripture, tradition, and the magisterium as well. Second truth, if God is the creator of all things, then all things actually belong to God. That's simple logic. But uh, a lot of people would have a problem with that simple fact and say, no, things belong to me. Um, but this is clarified by millennia of teaching as well as by sacred scripture. So, for example, Chronicles 10.14 says, The heavens belong to the Lord your God as well as the earth and everything on it. The third truth, while everything is created by God and everything belongs to God, he gave everything to humankind to care for on his behalf. And here we harness that uh, secular definition of stewardship, taking care of something of value that actually belongs to somebody else. Um, recall the story from creation, um, again, that all monotheistic religions have. The Lord God then took the man and woman, settled them in the Garden Eve of Eden to cultivate it and to care for it. And the Garden of Eden can easily be a description of the entire earth. Finally, the fourth troop. Discipleship demands stewardship. And Jesus Christ is both the teacher and the model for how we are to take care of all of those things that God created that he gave us on our behalf and to take care of on his behalf. The most profound example of this is Jesus' great commandment which, by the way, is a restatement of, of ancient Abrahamic um, uh, teaching. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind, and you shall love your neighbor as yourself. So those are the four truths. Everything is created by God. God owns everything. God gave us everything to take care of on his behalf. And Jesus Christ is the teacher and the model for how we are to do, number three. And then I added finally a fourth corollary, and a fifth corollary, and that is this theology asserts that God expects generosity from us. And I think this is my own thought. I haven't read it anywhere else before. That since we are created in the image and likeness of God, and God is the greatest giver of all, we therefore are created to be givers. And if we are not givers, we will ultimately be dissatisfied with our, with our lives. So my intent uh, with this work is to, for it to be a source for preaching and teaching uh, within the Catholic Church, although people keep saying it probably extends beyond the Catholic Church. Um, I intend to get it published as soon as I can find somebody that wants to publish it. Thank you very much.